Okay, Mercedes W203. Um, put a trailer hitch on the other day. It's a Kurt. Kurt, Kurt, Kurt. What is the number? I will put it up on the screen here when I remember. And I'm just doing wiring now. Um, I didn't do the. I didn't film the trailer hitch installation because there's a good video on YouTube on that. Um, on actually the same Kurt hitch that I put on. So anyway, I'm going to be putting the, the, doing the wiring. There is no wiring kit made for this. You just have to use an externally powered uh, trailer hitch adapter. My dogs are not going to shut up because they're outside and they're barking at squirrels. Um, so anyway, first thing I'm going to do is remove all these little trim plugs along. Um, I've got the, obviously the rear carpet or the rear floor, trunk floor up. I'm going to remove all these, pop these little pop clips up, which just... pop out the inner part pops out and then you pull the whole thing out there's like 20 of them in here so I'm going to pop all those out along with the little clips here I'm going to use my trim tool to pop those out the centers pop up and uh, I'll get all those out we'll be back in about five minutes so this is the ever terrifying rear SAM module um, it just sits here behind the carpet on the driver's side there's a little metal bracket that holds it in and it just simply rotates out of the uh, two little feet on the bottom and uh, i've just pulled the power plug the main power this goes right to the battery unhooked that and uh, tapped a fusible link into there into the back soldered it on to the so this is directly to the battery and this is going to go directly to the trailer converter so that's battery power in. So this is going to isolate. Oops. <laughs> I just touched my soldering iron, one of the wires to the soldering iron. I don't know which one. Yeah, it smells like burnt plastic. Um, anyway, so that's direct power through a 10 amp fuse. I put a fusible link in there. So anything grounds out on the trailer side, um, it's going to pop this fuse instead of sending any nasty signals back to the SAM. So there's, what this does this trailer converter does is it uses its own power it takes power from the battery in a ground and it powers its lights off of that it just takes a signal from the signal lights and then it doesn't take any power from the signal lights it's not adding an extra circuit to the signal light so it won't interfere with the sam unit whatsoever and this is just taking power directly not from the sam unit this is taking power from the battery um, so this is the cable that plugs into the sam unit and the power is just, again, soldered onto the back where this big positive wire, this goes straight back to the battery. And I'm just going to plug this back into the same unit here. Ugh. Oh, I guess my radio was on. So that's, uh, now I'm just going to hook this back up and then we're going to probe for wires for the, um, uh, for the brake and tail light and stuff. So this is where I'm going to get, this is basically just where you get the power from for the, uh, for the tail lights, uh, for the converter. And we're going to find a suitable ground and that's simple enough. So anyway, this is step one, power from the SAM unit. So I'm going to put this back in and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so the rest of the wiring is pretty simple. The ground simply grounded it there on a bolt. Uh, this is for the tail light, the side where the tail light bolts on. You can ground it there. There's other bolts for the tail light you can ground it on. Um, so I mean, this is a grease connector. There's different ones, but as long as there's a powered, as long as you use a one that's separately powered, like I said, has its own uh, positive power. These are mostly going to be basically the same. Um, so it's going to have an input for right turn, brake, left turn and tail light. Uh, left turn is green, tail light is brown. And you're just going to simply splice into the wires for those. Um, you can use wire taps. Uh, these are small wires that, uh, fairly small wires that Mercedes uses for these. Uh, there's not a ton of power going through them, so they're pretty small wires. You can use wire splices, you can solder them in. Um, the colors, uh, everything is pretty standard for the tail light. Uh, it's gray, 
with a black stripe is the tail light. The brake light is black with a red stripe. Left turn signal is black with a white stripe. And the right turn signal is black with a white stripe. They're the exact same on both sides. Um, if you look at the... The third one in there, in this dead center, black with a white stripe, is the exact same on both sides. So you just have to but you wire into this one on this side because the CAN bus takes care of this. You wire into this loom on this side for the left turn signal and wire into the other loom. They split off here, wire into the other loom on the other side. The CAN bus takes care of splitting those. Um, it's the exact same one on the other side. So the right one will wire into the other loom where it goes to the other side and it'll take care of it. So I'm just gonna, I mean, splicing electrical connections is splicing electrical connections. Um, uh, I'm going to do all those. I'll show you doing one of them, but uh, all the other ones are basically the same. So I'm going to get my splices out and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm just doing the brake light. I've cut the red wire, spliced in the red wire from the trailer connector. I'm using a shrink and solder. So I've cut the two original wires, strip back the wire on the end. This is the wire from the trailer box. I'm going to twist these two. Sides together. Slip the shrink and seal connector over. Sorry, I'm in your way. Trying not to be. Twist that side on. Slide the solder connection over. And then using a lighter. This is a shrink a solder connector, it will shrink. I've seen I've used these in other, other videos. It's a heat wrap. It shrinks. There's solder in the center of it. It will, once it gets to a certain temperature, obviously, it will. The solder will flow into the joint as the shrink wrap shrinks. And there's also glue inside the shrink wrap that will glue the entire thing together. Just have to be very careful not to melt the shrink wrap. There you can see the solder. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. See the solder flowing? It's actually wicked up. See it wick up there? It wicked a little higher than it usually does. I've never seen it usually wick, doesn't usually wick that high. You see it popped out there? Yeah, I've never seen it do that before. Ugh, I don't like that one. I'm going to redo this one. But, well, maybe I don't really have to. Anyway, it makes a really, really strong connection, like I said, because it solders and glues, and then the shrink wrap provides a lot of protection for that but the glue is nice because it glues the wires together as well so it's nice and strong stronger than the original wire so that's done this is the tail light one has been done there's a diode on this tail light not sure why but i applied the i put the connection on the bulb side of the diode again i don't know why this diode is in there but it is no clue, not an electrician, not an electronics. An electrician, that's house wiring, that's easy stuff compared to this crap. Um, so now I just have to do signal lights left and right. So um, anyway, that's what I'm just gonna do, these left and right, and uh, be back when the whole thing's done. This is what I'm doing for the whole thing. Um, 
I'm gonna rewrap this loom in back in a second. Okay, so all hooked up now. Um, I don't have it hooked up to my trailer, but I do have a set of towing lights that uh, I've had around forever. <laughs> like magnetic towing lights for hooking on a car if you're towing it on a dolly or whatever. I don't even know why I have these damn things. But I'm just gonna use it for testing. Got it plugged into the wiring harness, so the lights are on. You can barely see them because of the sunlight. But uh, left turn. a bit of a power fluctuation into the right signal there you can see right turn that's probably more of a problem with the lights being so old they're probably 20 years old of having them here forever so again left turn right turn and brake and that's running lights so it does work the w203 can be wired you don't need any special $5,000 wiring harness from the dealership. It's just a $40 self-powered. I'll give you the number off of this anyway. It is the Reese model number. Where's the package? Uh, 78014. And that will work on the... Actually, this will work on any Mercedes. I don't think it's the same one that I used on my W208, but it's isolated. It's it's got a uh, it's fused. It can't send any power back. Basically, all you want to do is not send any power back to the SAM, so there's no signal going back to the SAM. There's no power being used from the lights. The lights are not powering. Your light bulbs are not powering the the tail lights. Um, they're powered themselves through the battery and through the ground. So there's a separate power source for them. They're just triggering the lights. That's all. You can also set up a relay thing of your own. If you want to use a couple of relays and do it, you could probably do it that way. Um, but this is simple. These are like 45 bucks for these uh, tail light converters. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, that's it. I just have to clean up all this wiring and tuck everything back in. It was about you know, two hours to do all this stuff filming adds about 45 minutes to it so i was just doing it without it'd probably be about an hour hour and a half if i didn't have to uh film it not blaming anybody but uh anyway thanks for watching uh any questions uh feel free to ask i will put the number of the trailer hitch the kurt trailer hitch in there if anybody cares it's a um uh, da -da -da -da. in canada it's again canada we have a special bumper support in our bumper that's going to make it a bit of a pain in the ass it's not as normal as installing the uh, american or european version but uh it's doable um anyway thanks for watching